Hey guys, welcome back. In my last video we talked about the diesel engines and Wolfpack and how to manage them, how not to manage them. In this uh, series we're going to work through the electrical engines now. Uh, we're going to talk a bit about the, the engine room uh, placard that you'll see just here. We'll talk about the compressor, the battery levels, the, or the battery level locations and more about these engines in detail. Right now the scenario is we're on the surface um, the diesel engines are still running at full speed and we're about to dive shortly. But before we do, I want to show you one more thing with the diesel engines and the electrics combined that you may see. This doesn't always happen and it depends on the captain and the crew, but you may see it so I'm going to run through it anyway. Before I do, anything that I teach you in these tutorials, it's not the exact, you know, this is not what you need to do. This is just the way I run the engine room and how I see it fits for me and fits for my crew that I run it with. But different crews may do different scenarios, so just keep that in mind there. So, the first thing we're going to do here, you see we're on the surface. This is our engine card here, you've got your RPM, your motor, battery surface speed and the speed submerged as well. Bear in mind, the speed surface and submerged is when both engines are running in parallel together. So, when both motors and both propellers are turning at the exact same speed here, which at the minute is nearly 500 RPM, 480, then, you, you know, when it's running at dead slow, you'd get 2.5 on both. So it wouldn't be 5 surface speed with just, you know, both of them running, it would be 2.5 with both of them combined. So keep that in mind there. In the, in the electric room, you've got your RPM motors here. You've got your depth gauge here and a mooring depth gauge and you've got your pressure as well. Let's head over to the diesel room here. So the first scenario is the captain's about to order us to um, go ahead and go a stern dead slow. And that way he's going to slow the boat down and come to a faster stop than if we just stopped both the engines. So the way we would do this is if the captain ordered attention, we would agree to this and we know, right, we're about to receive an order, so everyone gets these stations, and yeah. So, electric engine, again, you would acknowledge this to say, yep, you want an electric engine, and he would then give a speed. So, electric engine, a stern dead slow he wants us. Well, at this point, we're still on diesel engine, and your first fault may be to shut down the diesel engines, head over to the electric room, get that up and running. Now, it's all well and good doing this, but if the captain's ordering an electric engine while you're surfaced and he's not ordered the dive there is a very very high likelihood that you're going to need to switch back to the diesel engine shortly after you've gone to a stern dead slow just to bring it to a full stop so the way we do this i'll show you on the starboard side here we'd bring the engines back here turn off our supercharger i'm going to bring the engines down to about 200 up here Let that RPM come down here with us. And there it is at 200. So we need to go stay in dead slow. And um, what we're going to do now is disengage this, and immediately you'll hear this engine spool back to life again. And this engine should now sit at around 500. Now, what this is going to do is going to keep the diesel engine nice and warm for you. So the second you've got orders on the diesel engine again, it's ready to go, but the diesel engine is no longer providing any power to the propeller. So the propeller is just not spinning right now on the starboard side. So what we're going to do now is head over to the electric room, and then you turn it into a stern, and you'd go dead slow. And that I'll talk about very shortly. Let's now turn off both the engines. The quickest way to do this is just by closing the air intake. And I'll shut down both engines. So the caps is now ordered to dive. So at that point, you would hear that and you'd immediately go, close all your valves. Boom, 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 all your valves are closed. Now, the captain and the dive officer or any crew in the control room can also see whether the valves are closed and they can do it here. So this tells them whether the diesel room's ready, the e-motors room's ready and all the valves are closed. So here's all your valves that I've just switched off. And the dive officer will obviously 
be able to see that they're all closed and he'll start the dive now. So the dive officer is now going to start the dive. Always get confused on which one it is. So periscope depth now. The dive officer area I'll talk about in, a, in another video as well. Gonna close the rooms. And we're going to decouple this one as well. So both engines are now decoupled. And we're going to go ahead and go to our electric engines. So there's a, there's a very simple method that I've found that best suits me to thinking about what you're going to need to do. You've got your battery levels here. So this is your starboard battery levels. This is your port side battery levels as well. That's the highest you can charge them to. So you can't charge them any further beyond that point. So what we're going to do now, the captain's ordered, uh, let's say, dead slow ahead. Uh, we've dived, so we're on the electric engines now. Cool. Well, let's go to dead slow ahead. So you're going to bring your motor into, motor into the forward direction. So you've got your off in neutral, reverse gear, and forward. By holding your left click, you can manipulate this by left clicking left and right. Now, the way I see this the best fits me is I work it in sort of like a three geared ratio. So you've got gear one all to the left, gear two is your motor to parallel, and then gear three is your battery also going to series. So gear one, gear two, gear three. Wonderful. So we can see dead slow requires 60 RPM, the motor to series, the battery to parallel. Well, that's gear one. So your dead slow and your slow is gear one. Your half speed is gear two. Your great and full speed is gear three. So we need to make sure the speed control is in high voltage. The only time this needs to be low is when you're either going absolutely full speed on that engine, you'll probably break a fuse, or when you're charging the batteries. Those are the only times. You can see here that the motor is set to go ahead because it says ahead here. If it was a stern, you'd see it'll come up a stern when we start the engine. So let's turn this motor on now and you can see it says a stern. So now we're going backwards. Whereas if we switch this off, let this calm down a minute and then switch it to forwards. You can see now we're going forwards. So we're in gear one. We're in dead slow right now, which is 60 RPM. And if you just move yourself to the right, you can get an easy location on your card here and the telegram while you're still on the station. So let's say, for example, we need to go to half speed now. But what we would do is again, leave this in the high position. We'd head over to the parallel position and we'd use 160 RPM. So 160 RPM. While you're doing this, you wanna look at your shaft rotation just here. And you also want to look at your, your motor current because if your motor current goes past that red line for a certain period of time it'll trip a fuse and i'll show you this now exactly like that so now we've just tripped the starboard side fuse and you can tell this because the lights have turned off on the on the starboard side so what we're going to do now is just flip that breaker again and turn it back on now something that we do see a lot um, and it does happen quite regularly is let's say for example we break a fuse like this your first thought would be okay get off the station quick the captain needs us to be at full speed let's go get the breaker real quick but you'll see what this will do immediately it's going to pop the fuse again and that's because we haven't changed any settings on the engine here so again we need to bring them back to gear one onto high and now when we get this fuse again, we're gonna be good to go. As seen here. So let's say for example, we need to go to full speed ahead from when we're on slow speed. Well, what you're gonna do is bring this over to parallel. Oh, no, we need to bring that up first before we go into parallel because I only had 60 RPM. As soon as we'd switched it, um, yeah, it, it tripped it. It's like a, like a clutch. You gotta think of it like a clutch, if you will. So head back into here again, 60 RPM. We're gonna bring this up to a voltage that we need, like 110, for example. Move ourselves over to high, bring our speed control back. And I'm popping it again. 
So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do it on the port side because I've ruined that fuse on the starboard side, that's why it's popping. So let's let's go ahead and get this quickly set up. So power on, forward on the motor, and let's bring this into dead slow. That's great, we're now in dead slow. So again, up we go. I'm gonna bring it up more. And again, we're just watching the motor current here as well. And we've ordered full speed, so let's order full speed real quick. And you'll see on your, on your card here, full speed is 300. So again, we're gonna flick this more now. And we're gonna flick it all the way right, there we go. And we're gonna go up to 300 RPM. So we're at 220 now, continuing up. And you'll see the more we go up to 300 RPM, the closer that motor current is going to get to the red. So you need to really watch out when you get to the higher revs here. And now we're at full speed ahead. Now you can actually get 309 RPMs out of this engine. We're on the red now, so if I brought this up just slightly more. That's about the max you can do there. Any further in your pop fuse, like that. So again, we're going to get the fuse. Like so. There we are. Now, something you can actually do as well is you can also decouple your electric motors from the prop shaft as well by flicking this down here and that'll, that'll decouple the screw and it'll immediately stop the propeller. So that is another thing you can do there if you would like to get yourself off the propeller. You got your voltage regulators as well. Let me turn the starboard side on real quick. Oh yeah, see that? Didn't set this back. So that's popped it again, so let me go ahead. But let me put it to neutral as well because that fuse is not doing too well at the minute. There we go, everything's in the dead slow position. However, we're not producing any shaft rotation and that's because we've got the motor direction set to off. So it's just on right now. Now, let's say for example, um, that's all done. Let's say the captain orders for the lights to be dimmed. Well, what you do here is you go to your port side regulator for the lights and that'll just dim the port side lights here and you can turn them off as well so now the port side lights are turned off i'll show you the starboard side lights very shortly you've got this regulator as well on the starboard side now if you're ever wondering which side's which it says it up here on the telegram so starboard port so on the starboard side this regulator is not for the lights this controls both the radio and the hydrophone and a few other electrical systems within the U-boat as well. So if you turn this all the way down, well then your hydrophone officer would not be able to use the hydrophone and certain things in the boat wouldn't work either. So you want to keep this up as high as you can at all times essentially. That's great. So your starboard side light is located in the control room here. Just here. And the only people who've got access to these is the captain and the uh, mechanists or the engineers essentially. The next thing we're going to talk about now is the compressor. So let's say we get a call here from the phone. So the control rooms called us asking us to bring on the compressor. We turn it on here. As you can see right now, we cannot turn it on and that's because we're not on the surface. So we can only use the compressor when we're on the surface. So just again, this is up to my interpretation. This isn't the exact guide on how to run your engines to a T. This is just what best works for me and the crew that I've taught to do this as well. So I hope this helps and I hope you've learned a lot from both the diesel and the electrical engines and you know how to run them now in parallel and series um, and so forth. If there's anything I've missed out, I do apologise. Do let me know. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Take care, guys.